Well, good morning or afternoon, guys and gals. Uh, I was filming the assembly of my X controller over here the other day. Got to a point where testing it and all, and I had some uh, difficulties to say the least. To, to, in other words, uh, it, it didn't work right. But uh, got online with Inventables and as usual, uh, talked with the uh, technician people there and with Mo, and uh, we were able to resolve the issues that I was having, mainly on the back side there where the uh, cable for the uh, probe mounts. For some reason, I had not got it screwed down tight and it wasn't making a, a solid connection. It wasn't working, so once we got that set up, and I went through and uh, double checked all my tightness on my other connections. Uh, it uh, works. Now, the Z Pro works uh, with one exception. When you go in, well, just let me do it here. Here's, here's what you do. Uh, uh, am I where I need to be here? Uh, no. Let me get into easel. Anyway, uh, the probe, something is not right in the adjustment. I, I, I'm trying to figure that out. I've got, uh, I sent the file to Inventables and they are supposedly looking at it for me but uh, okay launch the app but when you set the Z probe up it comes down and it touches which it does like it's supposed to do uh, for some reason when it goes to carve it's not carving on the wood, but it's carving about a half inch above the wood, and we've not quite figured out what's happening there yet. So, uh, okay, something's not right here. Let me let me stop let me stop the filming for now and uh, get this thing set up and ready to go. I wasn't quite ready to do this. I just decided to do it on a spur of the moment. So let me pause the video and I'll be back with you shortly. Testing one, two. Okay, I've got my green uh, carve signal back here. I don't know if that's going to show up on a computer, but that's green up there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and tell it to carve. And when I tell it to carve, it comes up, of course, to give the material thickness. Material is secure. Give it the bit size. Now here, this is what's new. Uh, if you can see, let me move my camera over. Excuse me while I do that. And let's zoom in a little bit. This is what's new now with, with the Z-Probe. You get the work zero. Please choose one of the following working methods. You got the manual over here and you got the probe with the Z-Probe. I'm going to click probe. Then it comes up, it says jog the machine over the material and confirm the position. So it wants you to jog Y both ways, X both ways, Z up and down. And it, can, it, it works. Now plug in the cartridge. Now part of this installation is I had to run this wire up here. Right now it's just dangling. I got to drill a hole in my X carriage to mount it. But I plug the cartridge in. And then it asked me to attach the clip, which is this, to the collet. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to pull this forward so I can reach it. Well, I ain't going to do it with this on. Let me turn this off. Okay. And I need to raise this thing up. Alright, now I've got to go back through everything because I turned it off. Bear with me, folks. <laughs> we'll get this here in a minute. Wow. 
can get that up. Plug it in, attach the clip to the collet. Now, you take the touch plate and touch it to the bit. Let me turn this where you can see it. You take the little brass touch plate and touch it to the bit. And over here on the screen it says connect or no connect. In this case it's saying connect. Let me run that up a little bit higher. Okay. Place the touch pad on the material under the bit, which you do manually. Just set it right underneath the bit. Now, what I'm going to do is touch the plate is in place. Yes, and then it says start probing and you'll see it go down. It'll touch the touch plate and it come back up. And it says remove the Z probe. So remove everything. Set it over here out of the way. Do that. Z probe is put away. Plug the machine to the XY positions. Now this is a little different here because it's so high up in the air. You just kind of got to guess at your XY position here. Okay, I'm going to say that's my XY position. It looks pretty close. I've set the X, Y, zero. Turn the spindle on. It's going to get a little loud. The spindle is on. Now I tell it to carve. Now I've got that little test carve. Now you can see it comes down. And it's running, but it's about that high off the material. And that's the problem I'm having. Everything looks like it's working. So there's something in the setup that's not correct. Hold on a second, let me stop this noisy thing. Everything seems to be working as far as the X controller, everything's fine. There's something in the Z probe setup. Get back over here on me. Wow, don't need that. Oh, other way, James, there you go. Something in that Z probe setup is not right, and that's 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 where I'm at to this point. Everything seems to function as far as on off and what it's supposed to do. The touch probe comes down and touch it goes back up, and then when you tell it to uh, carve, it comes down. But it looks like it's about the thickness of this probe off the material. And I don't know what that is now. I was talking with Inventables yesterday, Friday, about it. They asked me to send them this file, and I did. And I got an email back late last evening that said, uh, yeah, we talked to you about this problem, and we thought it was fixed. And I wrote the email back, so, well, yes, we talked about it, but no, the problem is not fixed. So i guess it'll be monday before i can call them and talk to them again but uh, that's okay i don't have to have the machine i just can't figure out why it's doing what it is so in the meantime today i'm going to go in and read underneath the inventables uh forum page there everything i can about this and other people that have had this and see if anyone else has had the same similar problem same or similar problem and uh, see if I can uh, determine what their remedy was and see if I can apply that to my machine. So that's where we're at for now. And uh, until I get something fixed, uh, I won't bother filming anything until, until we figure out what it is. If and when we do figure out what it is, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we'll come back and uh, tell and show you what it is. For now, this is the CNC Woodworker. We will speak with you again soon.